Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes you can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then there you have problem a discussion for self-evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video all right so we'll talk about this question over here and this question was asked for four marks in CSIR uh, June 2019 and it was asked from your electrochemistry portion although the question at this time asked was pretty different from the question which were which have been already asked in the previous exams okay so let's see what was asked in it okay so it it was asked that if the over potential of electrolysis process is, in, is increased from 0.5 volt to 0.6 volt then the ratio of current densities that is ln j.6 to j.5 of the electrolysis will be equal to okay and it's given uh, that the uh, like the transfer coefficient is 0.5 so that is what is given to you now to answer this question uh, you need to know a very uh, like new concept uh, i know, like i can say that this will be a new concept for many of you first of all let's talk about over potential okay so what is over potential so if you go with the definition of over potential so it means that like the definition is that it is the potential difference between a half cell reaction thermodynamically deter uh, determined reduction potential okay so if you have a redox reaction you will be having two half cells oxidation half cell and reduction half cell so you can determine the reduction potential using thermodynamics right using the thermodynamic formula so uh, it is the difference between that particular thermodynamically determined reduction potential and the potential at which the redox reaction is experimentally observed so there will be experimental uh, redox uh, there will be experimental potential and there will be a theoretical potential which will be calculated through the formula and all right so the difference between those two are called as over potential and this over potential is directly related to the cell's voltage efficiency that means it tells you that how much amount of voltage you are giving and is that voltage getting converted into the reaction or not okay so uh, yeah so it, it experimentally deter uh, like over potential is experimentally determined by measuring the potential at which the given current density is achieved so there are many things about over potential but for now i'll just uh, like i'll just bound up my like lecture up to this particular definition only so you need to know just one thing that it what is over potential so it's a difference between the potential difference uh, of a redox reaction calculated thermodynamically and experimentally and it it relates the uh, or it tells you about the cell's voltage efficiency okay now to solve this question you need a formula or you need a equation basically that equation is called as tefl equation okay so it is called as tefl equation so if you are like if you if you have read this concept first time so you i'll just explain this what is tefl uh, equation and how you will use that to solve this particular question so tefl equation easily uh, like relates the over potential of the reaction and uh, with the uh, like with the current densities okay so let me just introduce this formula uh, like this equation that what it is and how it will be done okay so this tefl equation uh, like this is an equation which relates the rate of electrochemical reaction to the over potential okay this equation is given by this that is uh, like eta i is equals to rt upon alpha f uh, ln j i by j naught okay where r is your gas constant t is the temperature at which the reaction is happening alpha is your transfer coefficient whose value is given to in the portion as 0.5 then your f is faraday constant ln is like log base e and that is natural log and j i and j naught are initial like final and initial uh, current densities respectively so this is the equation which will be used to solve this question okay so i hope now it is clear to you that what is over potential and what is tefl equation 
Tefel equation is nothing but a just a equation which relates the rate of electrochemical reaction to the over potential. Okay, so let's use this particular equation to solve uh, this question further. All right, so now you can easily say that your eta 0.6 that will be given by what? Okay, so uh, eta 0.6 will be given by like RT upon uh, alpha F was that right? Alpha F and it will be like ln j.6 by j0 okay j0 is the initial uh, like the initial uh, current densities and similarly eta 0.5 will again be given by like rt upon alpha f okay this will be alpha f and ln j.5 by j0 okay so this is how it will be given now if i subtract both of these like I, if i want to calculate eta uh, point 6 minus uh, eta point 5 so how i will do that i'll just subtract both of like these terms will be common rt upon alpha f so like rt upon alpha f will be taken common if you write it like this so it will be ln a minus ln b so that can be written like ln a upon b and once you do that so j naught and j naught will be cancelled out you will be getting j okay so let me just do that so ln j 0.6 divided by j.0.5 why where does j naught went so it's like ln a minus ln b that you can write down like ln a upon b so this will be a divided by b so that means you will be getting something like this so 0.6 divided by j naught divided by ln uh, sorry j, uh, 0.5 divided by j naught so this j naught and this j naught will be cancelled up and in the next step you will be having like rt upon alpha f like alpha f and it will be ln j 0.6 divided by j 0.5 okay so that's how it will be done all right so now you just have to okay so this is what you will get um, as the value now they have uh, they have asked the value of this thing only like value of this part so what about the other part just take to the other side and just multiply that so i'll just write down over here so your ln uh, j 0.6 divided by j 0.5 that will be equal to this will be on the other side right so eta 0.6 minus eta 0.5 into alpha f by rt so that that is what you will get right now just put the values so to get the answer so eta 0.6 is 0.6 volt only okay so that's given to you so over potential is increased from this to this right so eta are over potentials so 0.6 minus it will be 0 0.5 right and then you will be having put the value of alpha that is 0 0.5 f divided by rt so once you do that here you will be getting 0 0.1 once you multiply this with 0 0.5 so you will be getting 0 0.05 f upon rt okay so that's how you have to solve it and that's how you get option number b okay so it's quite simple you just have to uh, use tefl equation to form equations for both the uh, like over potential values then you just have to take the subtraction of both of them why we have done why we have done subtraction because we want to get this value okay in order to get this you have to subtract so that these two terms will come in division they will be solved and you will get this on the right hand side now you just need the value of this just keep it on the right hand side take all the things on the left hand side just cross multiplication so eta 0.6 minus eta 0.5 alpha f upon rt put the values of eta 0.6 put the value of eta 0.5 uh, alpha value is 0 0.5 f upon rt here so after solving this part this particular part you will get 0 0.1 once you multiply 0 0.1 with 0 0.5 you will get 0 0.05 so that's how you get option number b as the correct option so this is how this question has to be done and it was quite simple uh, yet it was asked from very different concept so i hope this was clear to you guys i hope you guys understood that how to solve this particular question all right so i'll just end up this video over here so i'll see you guys in the next video uh, with a new problem in this problem solving series we'll try to take all the questions before the csr net exam comes and do let me know in the comment section that what else you want me to include in this particular series. 
and one more thing uh, like if you are new to this channel do subscribe to this channel if you are uh, like if you like this video do give it a like and it just motivates me to make more videos more stuffs for you guys thank you so much for watching and uh, you can ask whatever doubts you have or whatever suggestions you have in the comment section below so thank you so much guys have a great day bye bye